Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's hop right in to this week's DIYs. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the backing and the mirrors from my frames. I'm using my silver metallic spray paint to cover all four frames. Now I'm adding my mirrors in the backing back to my frames. This is project number one and I'm only using two mirrors for this project. If you are going to recreate this, I suggest using some type of sealant after you get done spray painting because the spray paint alone is not good coverage. I'm only adding hot glue, but if you are going to recreate this, then I suggest you add a stronger adhesive so your project can last over time. I'm adding a popsicle stick to make my project more secure. To decorate, I'm using these circle mirror towels. I'm laying all the mirror towels out before gluing them down. I was going for a different look, but I decided to add these bowls so the mirror tiles at the very top and bottom really wasn't needed, but I'm just going to glue the bowls on top of those. I'm placing these crystal clear drawer knobs right in the center of the bowls. Now I'm adding more mirror towels to the four corners on each bowl. Instead of applying the glue directly to the mirror towels, I found it better to apply it directly to the bowls. I think this turned out really beautiful. It was super quick and easy, but let me know what y'all think down in the comments. For project number two, I'm taking four of those frames and I'm going to add the mirrors and the backing back to the frames. I'm positioning them in the shape that I want. I'm using a ruler to make sure all my frames are aligned properly. I'm using these craft sticks to help keep my frames together and I'm using a black marker to color in the center so when I get ready to glue these down, the blue doesn't show through the back.
For decoration, I'm adding these mirror tiles that I continuously reuse and I purchased these from eFaber Mart. I love how this turned out. It was super quick and easy. It's very modern, but let me know what y'all think down in the comments. For project number three, I'm taking this candle holder and these toy balls outside to be spray painted. I did put a piece of tape underneath these toy balls so that way when I'm spray painting, they don't roll away. As I was spray painting, I noticed all the cracks that was coming in on the balls, but once it dried, some way, somehow, all that magically disappeared. Y'all see how it doesn't look that way at all, and this came from the tape, and I'm going to place another piece of tape on it so the ball don't roll away while I'm decorating. Since this part is messed up, I'm going to use this part as the bottom. I'm using these square mirror tiles and my E6000 glue to decorate along this line. These mirror tiles are self-adhesive, but I'm adding a little glue so they can stick better. Now I'm decorating this shape only. This is what I have so far and this is the top ball and this one is the bottom. I'm gluing very little mirror tiles to this candle holder. Now I'm gluing the circle mirror tiles in between each shape, but only on the front side. I'm placing these toothpicks right in the center of this ball and then I'm going to connect the other ball on top. I added more than enough toothpicks which I should have only added about four which y'all are about to see exactly why in a second. So this is why I should have added less toothpicks because this part was very challenging. It was kind of hard for me to get the toothpicks to the other side. I had to position them like this in order for it to work. Since I was unable to fully push the balls together, I'm using a beaded necklace to cover up the toothpicks. This is so adorable. You can't even tell that these are kids toys. Comment below and let me know what y'all think and which project was your favorite project this week.